Chef Janie, and today we are making my version of Moo Guy Pan. First thing we want to do is we want to thaw our chicken breast if they're frozen, cut them into um, bite-sized pieces, and then we want to make a sauce, a marinade, of um, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, a few drops of sesame oil, and this is not the hot, and one tablespoon of cornstarch, adding the cornstarch last. We take and we mix that together, toss in our chicken, and let this marinate while we uh, get the, our vegetables together. Now, the vegetables here, instead of bok choy, I used a baby napa, which is they say taste similar to uh, bok choy, so we'll try it. I've rinsed and drained and patted dry my mushrooms. Oh, about a half a cup. About a half a cup of rinsed and patted dry bamboo shoots. This gets rid of the, uh, the tinny taste from the can. This is a, a Korean sweet potato that I thought I'd add. It tastes real similar to a regular sweet potato. I already tried a bite. We have water chestnuts, about three quarters of a cup of water chestnuts that have been rinsed and dried. We have about a cup of sliced carrots, a half a cup of sliced celery, and we have a chopped garlic clove. We have some chopped onion, largely chopped I'd say, and then we have some uh, finely chopped ginger. Now, we're going to set this aside and we're going to make the sauce. The sauce is, uh, consists of a half a cup of chicken stock, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, a teaspoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of cornstarch, which we're going to add here in just a minute. Okay, to the oyster sauce and to the um, sugar, I added a cup, half a cup to a cup of real chicken stock from my freezer, and then, which gave it a nice rich flavor, and then I added about a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. Give that a really good stir. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, so our chicken meat has been marinating for about 15 minutes, about right. Mm, it smells peanutty. This is a very nice uh, nutty flavor, this rice wine. Okay, sauce is made, peanuts are made, vegetables are chopped, and we are ready to go to the wok. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to heat our wok. Nope. Okay, I've added my rice to my boiling water here. Keep an eye on it so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Oops, the top with the lid. Turn down the heat just a hair here. And while this is cooking for the 20 to 22 minutes, I've got my wok heated to a hot temperature. And then I'm going to add about a tablespoon of peanut oil. There we go. Coated. This is an all clad. In here, I'm going to put just a little bit more. That's about a tablespoon there. There we go. Tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Got the sides coated. And I'm just going to start adding my chicken. Oops. Maybe I can add my chicken. Now when the chicken is almost done, might still be just a little bit of pink, and you want to remove this to your chicken board. I'm going to add a couple more tablespoons of peanut oil. I'll go ahead and shut the rice off. the 
the garlic. Now I'm just going to add the chopped ginger. And the peanut oil, I'm just toasting the garlic and the ginger. I'm going to add the mushrooms. And we're going to stir fry these for about 30 to 45 seconds. These need to sweat. Okay, now I'm going to add my bamboo shoots, my water chestnuts, my celery, and my carrots. And I'm going to toss in a little bit of onion, not much. And a little bit of this sweet potato. And we're going to cook this for about three to four minutes. Okay, we've added all of our vegetables. We've given this a toss. We're going to crank up the heat a bit here and put on our domed lid. And we're going to let these vegetables soften a bit. Take about five to seven minutes. Ready. Go ahead and add your baby Napa or your bok choy. Give this a stir. And we're going to cook this for an additional three minutes. Okay, when our vegetables are about two or three minutes from completion, uh, because my wok is too small, I'm going to heat up my braising pan. It's ready to go. Let's give it a quick stir and get all this cornstarch up from the bottom. We'll pour our sauce to the braising pan. We'll give this a stir and bring this up to a slow boil. And simmer this until perfectly thickened. Now you want to work this sauce, add, add more chicken broth or chicken stock like I had to, and a little bit more oyster sauce and a little bit more sugar until you get this nice soft gravy consistency. You can see it. At this stage, you're going to want to add your chicken back into the sauce. So, stir that in. And we'll finish cooking that up. Yep. Now our vegetables are done. We're going to add these to our sauce as well. Give this a stir and be fast about it so our sauce doesn't burn. We want it to stay nice and smooth. Okay. And we're going to simmer this and heat this through for another two to three minutes. On a very low setting. Okay, John's going to be the first to try my, my version of Moo Moo Guy Pan. Let's see how it's hot. That's good. You like it? Does it mm -hmm. taste Chinese-ish? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I chinese -ish. Very good. Okay. But what's it? It tastes like something. It doesn't taste like beef and broccoli. It has a, another kind of flavor to it. I'm trying to think of where we've had this dish before. I just made it up. I don't know. It's very good. You really? Think something mm -hmm. we'd have again? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. There you heard it, folks. Very good. This is Chef Janie for my Mumu Guy Pan. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm.